Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics and I'm bringing you uh, a very special car today. This is a Volvo Estate, it's an 850 model from 1996 despite the number plate, which is actually a personal plate of the previous owner who's keeping it on this car. It's actually the very revered R model. And again, not any old R model. This particular car has been a Japanese import. It was imported into the UK in 2019 and it had about 50,000 miles on it when it came over in 2019, clearly in immaculate condition because uh, it still is. Uh, my uh, previous owner, a customer of mine who traded this car in, uh, has owned the car for that three years. In fact, he's been the only registered UK keeper. And if you work out the maths, the car is now gone around 60,000 miles or just under. Now, in order to get the car with a UK miles per hour speedo, that has involved a, uh, a swap over of the dials and all of that work, including photographs of the original dial and the new dial, are all included in the very extensive service record. Now, the service record does also include um, all the work that the previous owner had carried out, which included fitting uh, Volvo um, uh, brake calipers and discs. If I get in really close, you can see that those still look virtually new. Uh, that was done all round. The car also had its cam belt, water pump, servicing, had a new radiator. The air conditioning system was uh, refurbished and it is working uh, ice cold, as you'd, uh, just like it would have been when it was new. It's wearing a set of uh, Uni-Royal tyres all round, Rain Sport 5s. It would be a real shame to be operating a high-performance car on some cheap Chinese tyres. Not the case with these guys. Um, and maybe a little bit about the Volvo 850R. Well, where do we start? Volvo ventured into this high-speed, high-performance wagon, and they actually did enter one in the mid-2000s in the British touring car season, and did pretty well, considering this car is uh, not small. It then went on to uh, race the saloon version of this, this car in the, in the, I believe it was the 95 or maybe 96 season. So, because they had done quite well in British touring, to catch you up in um, but the R version that replaced that was even sharper stiffer suspension wider wheels bigger alloys um, bigger brakes turbocharged 2.3 20 valve five cylinder engine uh, performance on a large car like this bearing in mind we are talking the mid 90s here to 60 came in about seven and a half seconds and these cars could reach 150 miles an hour brake horsepower 237 but still returning an mpg somewhere in the mid 20s and if you drove like a saint you could get closer to 30. now the car has never been welded painted it hasn't had any accident repairs or damage it really is in remarkably good order. It's a credit to the previous owner. And Japanese cars do have a habit of being rather well looked after and they tend to be a high specification. Well, these cars come with a high specification anyway. Things like uh, air conditioning that we've mentioned. I think I've told you that this one is ice cold. The R model has a high level spoiler on the back, which I can show you and sits up the top just here. It enjoys these large and wide alloy wheels which look super smart. The interior is treated to some half leather, half suede seats which are, as you'd imagine, it's mileage and therefore moderate air conditioning. The 
so I had that same suede in the doors. And let's pop inside. As you would expect with a Volvo, very well appointed, but uh, they had a 200 watt uh, stereo system with eight speakers. Um, the, the, I mentioned the air conditioning all fully working. There isn't any warning lights. This is a four speed manual um, automatic car. We have uh, sport economy mode and we've got a winter setting. We've got heated seats on the front. We have an electric sunroof up here. The two-tone leather steering wheel was a feature of the uh, R version of the car. And we can see there's a pressure gauge, a turbo pressure gauge right underneath the dashboard. And you can see that this car has got its uh, correct um, British uh, miles per hour on the, uh, on the dash there should but the car all the plastics are perfect um anyone who knows the 850 yeah, in fact they did used to have a bit of an issue where the uh, dashboard um we, we used to have a bit of a uh, line here where these used to sag down a bit not so with this wonderful carpet mats um child seat option in this one which just goes in the middle you see that and that's where the baby seats go and these seats are in perfect work uh, perfect condition hardly worn at all door guards excellent huge boots in these cars anyone who's ever had a volvo knows that they are the king of the estates and it's really nice that it's actually got a uh, the volvo load protector and there's the carpet and then you even got more space underneath here and towards the back all as you would expect in excellent condition and you have a load cover built into the back and that goes up and forms a dog guard as well all as standard it's great that it's got its volvo books here that's a full set and then in here is very interesting uh, we've got the volvo book here there's some information for when the gentleman first bought it there's a lock book there's three keys in total and there's two here this car does have an alarm which comes complete with a key fob for remote opening it's got its japanese service history um there are some bills here i've got to be a bit careful with data protection but that's a bill for a thousand which was the brakes um and uh we've got one here for 330 which was uh, for some tyres here we've got uh, 345 that was a major service including cam belt and water pump that was carried out in 2021 and we've got one here for its last MOT which it sailed through we've got one for 500 pounds here from the um, specialist with Volvo for air conditioning and I've got three two two sixty nine. This was another service, and well, basically everything that's been spent. Oh, and I think I told you about some dials when they were changed over. Here we can see the mileage that was on the car at the time. Now, bear in mind that's kilometres, and these are the old dials, and these are the new ones, all documented. Um, in fact, there's the dials here. And in fact, there's even an advert for when the dials were purchased here somewhere. I think there we are. They, they were bought in the US eBay, which would have given you your miles per hour. And there's Japanese service history in there as well. There's been absolutely no expense spared. And it's really nice that we move through here and there's a maintenance record um, here. And there's the advert for the car's best qualities. And this is a uh, 850 Volvo brochure. And an invoice from when the gentleman bought the car back in 2019. Okay, well, that was a quick whiz through the uh, service book there. Um, the car drives delightfully well. I wouldn't tell you I'm really enjoying driving it myself, as you will do. Um, I do try to make a, a few notes about these cars so I can share the information to make sure buying decision you know even a small point here these little wipers that go on the windscreen wipers they always seize up on volvos not these they work in plastic you can see that 
lower front down here, got its driving lights. really straight with some beautiful bright red and just as a point of fact they only ever made this car in Europe with six colors and this is what they just call bright red now I think I've covered the main points that I want to share with you on my video I really want to tell you a little bit about the car a little bit about the performance a bit about his service history and what made the R version the R version. And I suggest it's a car that you might like to come and see in person because you will then see the condition it is in really is excellent. It's a little bit dusty in red. Let the weather change a little bit when it's a shower, but it does listen to listen to the weather. never be sure of the future values of these classic cars but I truly believe that cars which are practical like a Volvo estate in wonderful rust free condition having come from Japan just three years ago I think this will prove to be a wise future investment um, the 850 was a real remarkable car in Volvo's history, it bought front wheel drive, it bought more space because of being front wheel drive, blistering performance, in fact even the V8 BMW 5 series of the mid 90s couldn't match the performance of this particular Volvo and here we are looking at a car which is over 20 years old now and it still feels very relevant and modern to drive and it does more than just keep up with modern traffic this could be a car that could be your daily driver if you're in need of a big boot due to your family or perhaps if you've got dogs it's a great car for that use you fold those rear seats down and you have van like dimensions in the back i've been a fan of the volvo estate having had one myself Back in the day, I had a V70 actually, I remember as soon as I started a family, I traded in my trusty Jaguar company car and asked them if I could have a Volvo Estate, which they obliged, and uh, I did drive one, myself. excellent car to ferry the family around. Now, if it wasn't the R version, I don't think the company would have allowed me to have one of those, but having driven this, it brings back the memories of what a great, solid car Volvo produced back in that era. In fact, arguably, you could say it might have been their yeah, modern heyday. Nothing quite like the dimensions of a big Volvo estate, a nice, handsome estate car, and this is surely the, the king of the model. In wonderful condition, I think it ought to prove a good investment for the future, as I say especially with this mileage. I can't believe there's many with such low mileage. And having come from Japan, relatively easy duty. In fact, I think I'm right in saying that little sticker up there has got uh, something to do with its uh, Japanese heritage. Well, folks, I hope this has been a good walk around video for you so you can have a good look at this car. Coming with this private number plate, which makes it look a little more interesting. private plate does look quite smart it's certainly good thank you very much for watching today's walk around video i'll be taking some pictures which you can have a look at on my advert i'll take a picture of the engine bank here which is quite simple to do and if you would like to come and have a look at this in person you're very welcome we do offer a car sharing service that's why we've got this lovely car offer a full UK delivery service too. This can be dropped to your door for a very competitive price. And all the cars we sell do go through our own workshop where they're thoroughly checked over for customer satisfaction. 
And if I can open this bonnet up with one hand, I will do. It's a bit easy. So I've got a little tag to pull out. Now if I can do it, I will open the bonnet and show it to you if I can. Oh. Sorry, bear with me. I promised you look under the bonnet. I think we can do it. Here we go. Ah. So. There's that lovely big transverse engine. it's got a turbo and that's a very fine settle under there very clean and uh, exactly what we're here for that big five cylinder 20 valve turbocharged engine a very special car hi folks thank you for watching the walk around video please get in touch if you'd like to come and see this Volvo it's Danny at Bradley James Classics Signing off.